never look back. Hey, see this that that championship music right here. That game seven, three seconds left on the clock. Are you gonna take it? Don't lose your focus. Yeah, focus, you gotta focus. Hell yeah, hopeless what you choose. Win or lose, you know the rules. Never give up, just keep your head up. Despite the pressure, it's gonna get better. You gotta get it, it's now or never. Focus, you gotta focus. Hell yeah, hopeless what you choose. Win or lose, you know the rules. Never give up, just keep your head up. Despite the pressure, it's gonna get better. You gotta get it, it's now or never. I'm like, bro, Brady in his prime. Houston 9 to 5 against all odds. I promise I will rise. I got that Jordan driving wheel to win. Cause from deep within, boy, I get it in. From the start to the very end, me and it to win. Switch it up, it's two minutes left. Gotta get the touch. I'm like T-Bow when it comes to clutch. You can count on me. Fourth and go, and I'm gonna score. That's the Super Bowl. I'll get that ring. Have to catch my dream. Then it with my team. Feel like Poppy Bottle Mother. We're live. All right, man. This is another episode of That's the Deba- Ah, That's Debatable. I am your host Jeremiah Bays. Episode eleven. I am missing one of my co-hosts. He is currently uh, being held in Minnesota right now. Going to flight from LA. Have a safe travels, my brother. We'll see you when you get back. Got my voice of reason over there. As always, Ryan Dietrich yes, running sir. the show. All right, buddy. How you doing? How was your week? How was your weekend? Good, man. Uh, kind of a quiet weekend. Mm-hmm. Busy with football, for sure. College football was wild. NFL Sunday, as always. But beautiful weekend here around Columbus, man. So, how about you? You getting anything exciting? We got that's bugs gonna, in the room. That's going to bug me out. <laughs> <laughs> but, man, my weekend was straight. Saturday was my uh, my niece and my nephew's 10th birthdays. No, they're not twins. But, uh, yeah, they both it was their tenth birthdays, and when I celebrate, we celebrated that on Saturday along with a lot of the college games. Watched some college games. Sunday, I went to the Taco Fest with my lady and my son. Just kicked it, man. Just a normal little day, just watching some sports. I like kinda, it. Kind of boring. Ain't really do much. Now we went out. Kind of got some. I don't want to say bad news over the weekend. Kind of had to deal with it as a family, but we had some. Frustrating news, and we was trying to learn how to deal with it over the weekend. So, I gotcha. had to, you know, went out a little bit, got some drinks, went to the uh, pins out in Easton, kind of, you know, just a little chill Saturday. Pins mechanical, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, I hear their radio spots all the time. I've never been there, but yeah, definitely hear their popular spots. So, you know, yeah. nice quiet weekends, always good, especially if you got stuff on your plate, you know. Yeah, yeah, nothing too much, nothing too crazy. Just celebrated the kids. Just another weekend living, right? Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure, we do. for sure. Of course, you know, it's been a minute. Last week, I ain't get into my high school. I'm going to get into my high school this week. Over the weekend, we had Independence Whoop on Briggs, 40 to 22. Eastmore, hey, South actually been doing a thing. And EA, you know, my, my alum, and it's about to be our 10th year anniversary coming up. Which year alum? Where'd you go to high school? Eastmore Academy, the home of the Warriors, you know. I gotcha. Yeah, right up the street on Main Street, matter of fact, you know, not too far from here. Oh, right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that we have whooped up on South, and South been high all year. 40 to 22. Walnut Ridge finally got in the win column. It looked like 42 to 8 over West. And May and Franklin lose a tight one to uh, Afrocentric. And Afrocentric been balling, leading the South Division this year. Uh, Thursday, we got May and Franklin. Uh, Mary Franklin and West, we're going to see how that go. Mary Franklin probably going to get the dub, but young men do your thing. Friday night, we got a big, big rivalry game, and I think that's the alumni game, if I'm not mistaken. I might be in attendance. I might not. Right we'll on. never know. But <laughs> Walnut Ridge and Eastmore, I got Eastmore, of course, and I think that we're going we gonna to get the job done. We're going to manhandle them Scots. Uh, I know it's all – they're they the kids, but, you know – Eastmore Ridge, if you've you been to them schools, you should know how it go down. Independence got Afrocentric this weekend. Afrocentric is a strong, strong 6-1. and one. They're probably going to whoop up on Independence. Briggs and South. South is going to definitely get back in the win column and probably be 6-3 and three after they, they uh, whoop on Briggs. That's some of our high school in the South Division over the weekend. You know, we had the big Fury and Wilder fight. I'm not that great. I'm not the best, biggest fan of boxing. Uh, maybe my era of boxing wasn't really. The heck was that? 
But maybe my era of boxing wasn't really like how it was in the eighties, nineties with the Ali's, the Tysons, and yep. Lennox Lewis, all them guys, Sugar Ray's, you know, all them guys. So definitely a yeah. definitely a different game. Our and I think boxing is still Floyd looking era, for this Floyd is a little bit different. Yep. But we had the heavyweight fights round three over the weekend, Fury and Wilder. Now Wilder has lost for the third straight time in yep. his trilogy, but they keep telling me how amazing this trilogy was. You know, he came out with the Black Panther suit in round two, and he blamed it on that. I don't know. I don't know, man. But it looks like that boy Fury is a beast. He said, I'm number one. I I, ain't, I wish I could do the accent. I can't do the British no, accent. right. It's tough. Nah, nah. But he's like, I'm number one. He's number two. But that might be a big gap between one and two. So. It certainly looks like it. He took care of business. I just saw a couple of the highlights. Saw the knockout. Yeah. Yeah, I, round, I mean, so. I watched it, but I was between right. watching that and football. It was I was all over the place. I'm yep. playing 2K. I'm doing all types of stuff. Yeah, right. <laughs> but no, I just look up. And next thing you know, he sleep. Uh, next thing you know, <laughs> I'm sleep. So it is what it is, man. They they talking about if they if it was a four fight, would you? I mean, I'm gonna figure out a way to get it for the flow. You feel me? Yep. So. Hey, if it's a four fight, I'll be watching. But hey, I, I wouldn't recommend it. You should just go ahead and fight somebody else, <laughs> you know, or retire. <laughs> but you got some notes down. What is some of this that you? Yeah, got let's down, see. Right? Uh, as boxing, it's always about the money. They're talking about the purse. The yeah, Nevada State Gaming. Bag. Yep, the Nevada State Gaming Commission said, "Let's see, the purse was guaranteed five million per fighter. They were expected to make upwards of that twenty-five to thirty million per fighter after the deal." So. You know, always a big paycheck, and it said they made about the same for the February 2020 fight. So, Fury got the higher chunk of that, uh, and the payout was 60-40, just based, just because he's the number one ranked guy, he gets a little bigger cut. Yeah, so why would he? Why boxing's would he all about cut? that I've money, been man. i you. Like, he's so, lucky I'm even fighting you again. That's so, all I got on that. Round. All right, it was a tie the first one. Seventh, yeah. the 11th, and the third fight. Okay. So, quick, that was that. Quick yeah. rundown of that. Yeah, man, that boy Fury Hughes. I heard he gained like he gained. He was twenty pounds overweight. Still, he's still the most out of shape, in shape person probably ever. So I get. I mean, next to the dude that knocked out Anthony I ain't Joshua, gonna, I ain't gonna get in there with that's, him. But. That's the same person. <laughs> but uh, you know what I mean. Yeah, man, I ain't. I'm cool. I don't, don't touch me, man. So. We got we got other stuff for that. But NBA's back, and that's where. I'm gonna really make my bones. Speaking of big, yeah, big money. Let's get the big money NBA. Those supermax contracts. I hear they might be going up again, so that'll be news to look out for coming. Yeah, or so the that's, next season that's or two. A but anyway, big, NBA big reason. is always big money. Preseason's just getting going. Yeah, man. They say don't look too much into the preseason. I might look a little bit into it. Eckler baller of the week. Yep. Hey, JoJo, I appreciate it, but we ain't there yet. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's exci- JoJo's excited, man. He's been tearing up our fantasy league. He's loaded, so he's jumping the gun a little bit. Eckler, but we'll get to time it. Time Eckler, is Eckler is the running back for the uh, Chargers, Chargers, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah no, nah, I, I got a baller week on that team, but it's definitely not Eckler this week. No. Eckler. But that's uh, a good candidate. We'll get there. We're going to cover back, some Richard, NBA real quick. All right, hi. Yeah, you did. JoJo's a all big right. Lakers fan. Yeah, are you a Laker fan? Or you might not like me then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out Adam Dell. Uh, score on air network, Ohio Media School. So, but the NBA is back, and you know we got the the the, the Bulls is looking lit. You know, kind of biased there, but now nah, they put up, they've been putting up some numbers, and it's only the preseason in the team, and it was just the Cavs. But I feel like that could be a very high, 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 high power offense. We just gonna see how it go, man. I like I like what the Bulls got, I like what they doing. Third, fourth, fifth seed, we'll see how that go, but. They looking good, Russell Westbrook. <laughs> Russell Westbrook in his in his two games over the uh, with the Lakers over the weekend. You already know sixteen turnovers, typical Russ four for nineteen. We'll see how Mister Triple Double do once the real once the uh, the real bright lights come and LeBron's on the floor. But as of right now, it ain't looking too good. But you know the Laker Lakers hopeful got their hopes high. So I ain't gonna just totally crush their dreams or nothing like that. They really they could be a legit team. We just gonna see how it mesh. Just from what I see, I see the same old Russ and in the playoffs, it's gonna be the we just gonna see. That's way, way down the line. That's a long way down the line. Saturday night we had Toronto lose to Boston one eleven to one thirteen. New York Knicks 
uh, over the Wizards. The Wizards is definitely going to be trying to get a top seed this summer. So um, for the summer, so we gonna see. They gonna, it's not looking good for the Wizards. Uh, Bradley Bill, hopefully free Bradley Bill, man. But they lost one seventeen to ninety nine. Atlanta ninety one over Memphis eighty seven. Uh, Sunday's game, San Antonio over Orlando, 100, 101 to 100. Chicago over Cleveland. This time they ain't scored that much of a high. They ain't scored that high, but 102 to 101, they won. That's all that matter. Oklahoma City, Milwaukee, 130 to 110. Milwaukee got it done. I think Giannis made his debut, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, Phoenix over L.A., 123 to 94, rematch of the first round of the playoffs last year. I know it's only preseason, but, you know, same results, a loss. <laughs> now you know we got the we got Kyrie not showing up for the home games. Um, Anti vax, he's he's drawing a lot of attention, and it's a lot of people talking. Uh, Andrew Wiggins just got his vaccine. He said he wouldn't do it. Blah blah blah. Time goes by, he got it done, so he's gonna be able to play in his games. So, how many cities now have vaccine mandates that would limit Kyrie? From playing because I I saw the headline that L A had just announced it and mandated it. Yeah, but it's pretty much all the California teams. Okay, yeah. So he can pretty much California, the New York teams. Uh, Yikes! So he's got a yeah. One of, uh, he's good in Philly. That's why I keep talking about trading him for Ben Simmons. But I just don't see how Ben Simmons and uh, Kyrie Irving work. I mean, not Ben Simmons and Kyrie. I don't see how Ben Simmons and he work for. The Nets with James Harden there. I mean, his play style, he needs the ball to create. But I don't know. Kyrie's pretty much untradeable anyway. So we'll see how it go, man. Uh, he's Maybe he's going to get the vaccine. Maybe he won't. Right. I'm not going to – I mean, I'm not anti-vax. I'm, I don't, you, you're vaccinated, right? Yep. Yeah, so I, I'm still, you know, pandering it, thinking about it, whatever. We're going to see – what the future holds and how mandatory this becomes for the lower level people. But as of now, Kyrie could be a problem or he may not be. If he uh, staying in contact with his team, talking to his uh, teammates, who knows? We'll see how that go. Yeah, that's you know, quite the they, issue. They, they the, uh, Your star can't favorites. play, you know, half of his games. I mean, yeah, hey, pretty much all the home issue. games right. and some of the road games, but they, uh, he's able to practice with the team now and they made it a, a private building office. So, Sure. Whatever that means. Right. But They'll figure out something. They're way not to gonna make too many rule it. changes for Kyrie Irving. Maybe Kyrie gonna get this vaccine. Maybe he won't. Nets. I, I mean, I'm really banking on KD anyway. So I feel like the Nets really still got a strong chance no matter what. Right, with or without him. Here's some NBA news for you. What you got? J.R. Smith <laughs> makes his collegiate golf debut today for North Carolina A and T. Oh uh, yeah, man. <laughs> He's. That's the dream right Hopefully there. Hopefully he could get it done, man. Uh, do your thing, JR. Do your I'm thing. I'm a huge golfer, though, so I love that. Retire from the pros, go play golf, play with the kids. That's got to be cool for all those college kids on that North Carolina A&T team. Just a bunch of kids playing golf. I mean, he is an NBA. You do say NBA Smith champion, JR Smith. Dude, so, right? yeah. Yeah. So, that's it, cool. That's, that's cool. That's pretty dope, man. So he's officially retired from the NBA, I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah. All right. Don't be trying to sneak and get you another ring like he did in 2020. Speaking of, he's a college athlete now, so I wonder if he can use na- get it name, image, and likeness contracts and start making cash off of his collegiate deals. You know, who knows what's with that? But that's yeah, an interesting. He could thought. be bringing eyes to to them <laughs> over there. So, dude, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, that's that's the NBA, but it's only the preseason, man. We going when my God will get back. We gonna really get heavy into the yeah, uh, just a few days into preseason. Yeah. When does NBA regular season start for those of us out there that don't know? Let me see. The Bulls and Pistons game is in nine days, and that's their opening day. Uh, I can't remember if that's the same yeah, opening night. I know opening night is uh, Mil- ring night for Milwaukee, Brooklyn at Milwaukee, and uh, I want to say L.A. and the Warriors right. opening night. Cool. Yeah, but, yeah, just under two weeks, about ten days. Yeah, so, yeah, now we getting there. No, we definitely getting it's there. It's coming fast. Carmelo looked good for the Lakers, though. Not to just throw all the salt on the Lakers. Carmelo was hitting, and it looked like – Hey, he's he's really getting the catch and shoot thing down. So we'll we we'll just see how it go. I I just don't like I don't I don't like the Russell Westbrook thing, but we'll see how that go. No offense to Russ. A little bit of college football. It's a lot that done changed. It's a new number one. Uh, here's a good one from the text line. My buddy just said that JR showed up JR Smith showed up to that collegiate golf tournament in a Bentley. He did. <laughs> yeah. With a Bentley and a blunt. <laughs> ain't that ain't no uh, joke. But all right, you want to transition into college football? Let's do it. 
All right. Big changes. New number one. Right. So. What a fuck. Just a sec. Sharing the link. We got some live action going, so that's always good. Shout out to the fans and fellow listeners. Can't in play in Denver. I'm weak. With Westbrook coming along, we unstoppable. Let's right. go, LeBron James. Yeah, let's jump into a I'm little weak. quick recap of the news and highlights from the college football weekend. And I do got the new AP Top 25, so we'll go through the headlines and then the we'll 10. pull it you, up. You could just read read off the top 10. But uh, and Ali, Alabama went down by a field goal. Dude, that was huge. I did not see that coming. I was busy. I'm I was sure watching thinking them. thinking that they're going to win. I just wait to watch Bama in the playoffs. But, you know, they still, a, they still got love in the rankings. So. Right. They're still going to get in there. It's I the would, Alabama Invitational for sure. That There you go. I would agree with that. We'll see how legit the new number one team is because they're going to have to meet up eventually. So, yep. we'll see how that go. Who else? You know, Buckeyes doing Buckeye type thing. 66-17. It's just Maryland. I mean, hey, man. You don't play with your food, man. 66-17. Uh, Stroud, 24 for 33, 406 yards, five touchdowns. Uh, the, the Stroud haters is getting a little bit quiet. They try, yeah. they trying to rattle their they little hater noise. It's been bro. real quiet on but that end for two quiet weeks on the front. But we ain't, we ain't really played nobody, and he has missed one game. And that's all it was was the week of that Akron game was, well, yeah. what's the deal with Stroud? Well, you know, so it was just a few days of that, but uh, he has silenced the doubters for sure. Yeah, I think if he replay Oregon, we uh we handle business. I would agree, especially the way they looked. I think they went down again. Uh, yeah, Henderson sixteen carries, one hundred and two yards, two touchdowns. Team rushing, one hundred and sixty six, four hundred thirty two passing. Michigan survived Nebraska. That was man, y'all lucky. Michigan lucky they didn't lose because I was yep. ready to talk the most. I'm because I'm sick of them. You know, every time we do something, it's like we're yep. not in competition, fam. We don't even, we don't even like y'all. Y'all got the y'all got the all time record, but Michigan little bro, we don't care. Yep, that was a tough <laughs> loss. I actually had Michigan on. I had money on Michigan too. I took Michigan minus three and a half, so and they didn't they get. They didn't. Three. So cover. you needed them to win by at least four. Yep, I got caught with a hanger, so lost like thirty bucks there. But it's a, you know, I'm not a huge Husker fan, despite being from Nebraska. But I still like to root for them, and I can't stay in Michigan. Michigan. So that was tough Mc- at home. Manera looks rough. Memorial Stadium was rocking. It was loud during that game. So hey. hopefully Nebraska can come back get a wee win against I think Minnesota maybe this weekend. I can't remember, but and yeah, Michigan's quarterback McNamara, he's been there for three or four years. Dude looked rough. He was underthrown, overthrown, out of bounds. Typical kept, Michigan quarterback. There you go, and that's probably why Harbaugh tries to run the ball for. You know, 40 times a game, so. Yeah, he just can't get the quarterback right. While yep. we sitting on three quarterbacks, he can't get the quarterback right. I mean, you want to borrow one, Jim? <laughs> Jimbo? <laughs> it ain't looking too good. No, but, nah, I don't. Like, nah, but Michigan did win, and they are, where they ranked at now? They was ninth. But, you know, Michigan, out they doing their thing. You know, Penn State fell to Iowa. That was a tough, hard-fought game. Uh, of course, Georgia's the new number one. Arkansas got stopped. I was watching that game, too. Two-point conversion of Ole Miss, 51-52. And then, you know, the craziest, uh, one of the craziest games of them all, 55-48, Oklahoma comes back and win. That was a tough Texas. one, too. I had Texas when getting the points there, so I lost a little bit of money on that one, too. Yeah. Texas was up 21. That was the largest comeback in Red River rivalry shootout history. Or the Red River shootout Say that five history. times. Dude, really right. Fast. <laughs> So, yeah, largest comeback there. Spencer Rattler getting benched was big news. Yeah, Mel Kuyper's number one draft pick next year in the NFL. So, shows what Mel Kuyper Jr. knows. Just want to reiterate that. So, I wasn't ever a big fan of Spencer Rattler. So, I was glad to see him get benched. Didn't like seeing Oklahoma win. But yeah, every I, time I mention him, you do say something. Dude, right? <laughs> like, he's my favorite yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <You're> right. <laughs> and that was the highest scoring game in shootout history. So, you know, 100 whatever points. So it's definitely exciting. Yeah. Almost looked like that Browns and Chargers again. Man. But uh, first time that it was the first time that two top 10 teams, top five teams out of the Big Ten was in a uh, uh, playing each other that wasn't Ohio State in, I think, like 50 years or something like that. Dang. 20 years. Yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah, that's definitely unusual to see Ohio, you know. Yeah. Iowa and Penn State at three and four. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, good game. Iowa made a great comeback, and that was kind of the tough part of their schedule. So they've got kind of an easy road. Yeah, they they gonna cruise their way. Keep, keep doing y'all thing, Iowa. Old State gonna see y'all. We gonna we gonna uh, manhandle the Nitty Lions too. 
you know, we're going to run through Michigan. That ain't nothing new. Then we're going to see the Iowa and the Big Ten. And then we're going to, you know. Yep. Yeah. Too bad, too bad Michigan and, like, Penn State and them ain't on the other side. Because right. it would be nice to see Michigan in the Big Ten championship yep. to lose to us. <laughs> <laughs> just for that fact. Yeah, just for that. At least they say they made it. They You're can't right. even say that because, you know, we own this side of the bracket. <laughs> for the Definitely do. Uh, Arkansas, Ole Miss had a good game. Yeah. Oh, let's see. 52. Arkansas, yeah, failed two point conversion. So Ole Miss stops them as the clock expires. That was a big one. Georgia's a new number one. We got the top 25 posted up there. Yeah. We can peek that. Cincinnati Bearcats rocking number three. Cincy, that is a, a weird minute. looking four. Yep. Technically, I, think, I don't think they don't start the playoff rankings until like week seven, week eight, right? So, I mean, yeah, we'll it's see coming how. Here in a couple weeks. Oh, yeah, we'll see how it go, man. I don't, they just Alabama just dropped down to five. I didn't, they couldn't go to six. Like they couldn't respect Ohio State enough. No, right. Who was that at number fifteen? Tulum. Who was that? That's going to be Coastal Carolina. Coastal Carolina. They undefeated. I believe you got wow. San, Di- uh, San Diego. San Diego State. State. Arizona State. Shout out. Uh, who that Dungey over there? Or is that uh, no? no D- that's not Dungey. That's uh. He played. He the coach of the Jets, Edwards, Herm Edwards. That's Herm Edwards. No, uh, Herm's at Arizona State, right? Yeah, Arizona State at number eighteen. Oh my bad. Yeah. Yep. Good call. A and M. Oh yeah, they only moved up to twenty one after beating Bama. So yeah, getting into the college football season, we're in what yeah. week seven or eight. So I will keep doing definitely nothing. in full force. You know, the next month is always the most exciting. October, November when we get into championship week, those things. So yeah. Definitely an exciting weekend in college football. It was pretty crazy. They'll never make it. I'm dead. That's for sure. That is for sure. But that's that's the college. That's college. And we're going to take it to a quick break. Yes, sir. Send you guys on a short little commercial break. And we'll be right Golf season in Central Ohio. The Recreation and Parks Department of Columbus operates and maintains six affordable courses to test golfers of all abilities. Wilson Road, the Airport Course, Mintel Memorial, Turnberry, Raymond Memorial, and Champions Golf Course. Each municipal course is open to the public, affordable, and offers a unique golfing experience. Want to test your swing at each course? Try the City Sampler or the City Sampler Plus package. These package deals are an even cheaper way to play all six city courses. Restrictions apply to tee time availability. Visit crpdgolf.com for more information. Listen up, Columbus. There's a new classic rock station in town. 97.5 The Bear is coming to you from Upper Arlington. Your source for classic rock all the time. All the time. We hear those other stations in town do a lot of talking and not enough rock. You're here for rock radio, not talk radio. Tune in to 97.5 The Bear. 97 won the fan the sun is shining the birds are chirping and after a year of lockdown we can't wait to get back outside and onto the golf course sunshine and needing permission to golf means that mother's day is just around the corner we believe it's incredibly important to show our gratitude and appreciation to the ones we love so tell us about the woman in your life who held your family together during the pandemic go to diamondseller.com click the get out and shine contest link and tell us why she matters most for your chance to win the winner selected will get to design their own handcrafted Diamond Cellar Mother's Day pendant. A once-in-a-lifetime global pandemic means a once-in-a-lifetime giveaway for a once-in-a-lifetime woman. You're the real MVP. While you're on our website, browse our beautiful selection of designer earrings, necklaces, and jewelry in our easy-to-use online gallery. And if you are ready to get outside, book an in-store appointment at one of our exclusive Diamond Cellar locations and let us cater to every detail. When it's finally time to get back out in public, make sure she outshines the rest. Howdy folks, Big Mike here at Mike Howard Ford Lincoln Mercury. We've been your neighbors for quite a long time, so you know me, and you know why they call me Big Mike. For over 50 years, I've owned and operated the biggest American-made car dealership in Ohio. Our 16,000 square foot showroom is the largest indoor showroom in the Midwest. We have the largest selection of Ford F-150s, that's America's best selling truck, and most importantly, we have the biggest sale of the year. The Mike Howard Ford Lincoln Mercury Annual Memorial Day Sale is the best time of year to buy a new car, truck, or wagon. We offer 0% interest 
and zero cash down at signing with low monthly payments when financed through our finance department. And for our veterans, we are offering a $2,000 rebate on the purchase of a new vehicle. This Memorial Day, you can't find lower prices than Mike Howard Ford Lincoln Mercury. So come on down to any of our locations in Athens, Cleveland, or Columbus. I'm Big Mike Howard. I'll see you Memorial Day. Right, welcome back, everybody. We make. Thanks for listening to those little commercials. I made those for school, so those are just my recordings of. Let's see, Big Mike's Auto Dealership, something else fun. Our Diamond Seller commercial on there. Jeremiah and I worked on that. Yeah, yeah. Sales commercial for the Diamond Seller, so. Just a little goofing around for us. Nah. But it's kind of fun. Yeah, nah, but we gonna have some real commercials because we're gonna figure out. We're gonna, get, we're gonna, we're gonna monetize this, bro. But all right, NFL Week Five recap Thursday night. Last Thursday night, the Rams beat the uh, Seahawks. Russell, what? Rest, bro. Look who's on my mind. <laughs> Russell Wilson goes down second half. Yep. I mean, oh my god, second quarter. No second. Uh, Gino, second half. They say Gino looked good. I was kind of asleep at that point. So. I don't know. I felt like I was telling you. Uh, yep. I felt Gino looked good because it, they, uh, the Rams didn't prep for him. Probably ain't seen no f- game film on Gino since like 2016 or something. Yeah, 2018 or something Gino hasn't. You know. Yeah, but we'll see how Gino do following up right. this week. But the Rams did come out on top. Matthew Stafford, you better start hitting these deep passes. Some of your passes looking shaky, but Cooper Cup and Robert Woods is balling. Dude, Matt Stafford has thrown. Let's see, he's eight touchdowns, zero interceptions over his last three games. Mm-hmm. So, got the win in London. I was wondering that, too. Kyle Pitts, kind of rookie phenom. He's a big name in the NFL. Goes over to London and has his breakout game. I think he had, like, nine catches, a buck, 19, and a touchdown. Stuff, so, I was wondering right. if Kyle Pitts' jerseys might start flying off the uh, shelves yeah, over in London, you know. There's kind of an open market there. Not a lot of fans, so maybe they get to see the new kid fresh as a rookie, so. I think well, you said that was his, that was his debut, right? As his, I mean, his breakout. Oh, oh well, his breakout. He's just yeah. been pretty quiet for four weeks, yeah. so he finally turned in some production with the absence of Calvin Ridley. So yeah, he better show up. They got Jamar Chase getting all these offensive rookie of the year votes. So I thought he was going. I thought it was going to be Pitsy for sure, but he ain't been talking. He Najee ain't. Harris is making a strong case for that too. There's a lot of season left. But. Yeah, it's a lot of season left, but yeah, March anyway. But yeah, no. Nah, but with Chase being Burrow's favorite target, and unless one of these quarterbacks could sneak in here and steal it, and my he's the front runner for sure. Unfortunately, so hopefully speaking, ain't of, no, speaking uh, of Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, I got Wood for Wood. Green Bay twenty five, Cincinnati twenty two in an ugly field goal kicking game that went into overtime. I didn't see it. I saw all the highlights. Heard the discussion. It, it was disgusting if you didn't see all those missed field goals. And, I mean, it's tough. You know, Five. Those were some deep ones. You know, 53 yards, 49 yards. The Matt Cincinnati LaFleur. guy hits the flag on the upright. Hits the upright. I mean. Yeah. He didn't <laughs> He didn't do that against the Vikings. I know that. He made his field goal against us. So I can and, tell you that much. And the Vikings in a tight one. Vikings get the win 19 to 17 over field goal Detroit. Win. Yeah, field goal win over the them knee biters, man. They uh they keep biting, man. They they are not playing around. Don't go into Detroit or p- don't play Detroit thinking it's just gonna be a walkover. Cause depends on what Detroit team you get, apparently, because they got waxed last week. But by who? I mean, but if that's the you talking about the Packer game, nah. Nah, but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna say nah. But besides, well, they I'm just saying they've been in they've been in the hunt. Like they've been competitive, and it just came down to field goals. Couple of games, and uh, Aaron Rodgers finally woke up in that third, late third, fourth quarter type. So, but yeah, that's the knee biters. Yeah, shout out to my kicker for finally doing his job. I could have used that uh, about week two, uh, you know. But hey, I guess it is what it is. Move on. Hey, the Chiefs is two and three. We're two and three. So same friends, two and three. Hey, this is a lot to look up to. So, <laughs> hey, it's a lot of football left, people. Right. A lot of football left. What other notable games we got? Carolina, ugly loss, man. And I put my cape on for them. Yep. Well, uh, Carolina they, had, I think Carolina was up 15 to three at half. Philly had three takeaways in the second half, I believe, maybe just for the game. Hertz had two rushing touchdowns that second half. So, Philly really turned it around. Did something at halftime, came out, 
took care of the Panthers. Tennessee rolled Derrick Henry's fifth career game with 100 rushing yards and three touchdowns. Uh, best back in the league, man. Yep. On Let me saying that as a Dalvin Cook guy. Without a doubt. And Dalvin Cook is out again for Let's this Let's see. The Saints rebounded. New Orleans goes into Washington, wins 30 James got a Hail Mary off. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a nice highlight. The end of the set and the end of the first half. Excuse me. Um, New England had a really rough first half against Houston, yeah. but pulled it together. In the second half, At halftime came back last second or last minute field goal. New England gets the win, twenty five twenty two, keeping Houston winless. Yeah, the Bucks roll. Nah, they got a win. They won a week one. They won in whatever four. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, surprising yeah. win. Week one was week just a one. weird week. That's right. Uh, Bucks dominated Miami. Tom Brady, man, we'll get to that in a minute. And that boy, that young old man is different, man. Yep. What else? Oh, yeah. Pittsburgh gets the win against Denver. Tough matchup there. Chicago goes into Vegas. Yeah, now, yeah. my brother and my goddad, my goddad and my goddad was at this game. Flew all the way out to Vegas to see the Raiders try to get a dub. Uh, and they lost 20 to 9. Sorry about that, guys, but I hope they got to enjoy their experience and enjoy the black hole, the new black hole. Uh, some rumors, some old emails, some stuff that popped up about John Gruden. Maybe he's racist, maybe he's not, who knows. Um, lying to the people, maybe he's not. Maybe that could have changed some things for the game because. The the Raiders was really balling, but I ain't really look into now they kinda I kinda overheard a conversation about it or undisputed with Skip and Shannon about it. But I couldn't really find the article myself, uh the emails to see what the heck was going on. Cause I didn't find out about it without that show. So whatever, shout out to them. But some stuff about Gruden going on, better look into it because Gruden might be on that stuff. And he still got about five years left of that hundred million dollar contract. Yup. Who knows? But in a little hot water there, but he wasn't with the NFL at the time. I mean, that's the thing. He was employed to somebody else, so Yeah. It's it. He was the ESPN guy. Who knows what's going on there? The one good note out of that, well, I don't know if it's good, but I did read that the Chicago Bears have in the let me read my stat. Four straight games with more rushing yards than passing yards. And it's not like they're racking up a whole heap of rushing yards. I mean, they're yeah. running the ball on the ground. But that just shows you how badly in need of a quarterback or to get Justin Fields going, Chicago Bears are. So. Yeah, hopefully they don't get it going too good because I'm a Vikings band fan, and we're right now third in the rankings. So, all right, you know, uh, Arizona got the dub. Uh, you know, a win's a win. Trey Lance got his first start. I thought they was going to come out strong. I mean, they, he still played good. Yeah. It's just a first start. He didn't really play much last year, the past few years. So, it's just going to take some time with him. But once once Shanahan keep uh, grooming him, he's going to grow up to be something nice, man. Just wait and see. Look, He's going to be in the looking like Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert only in year two. And, you know, they got the dub shootout win, 47-42. to 42. Justin Herbert and Eck, Eckler, where the guy at? You, you know, go. they were balling. <laughs> so, you know. 47-42, big shootout. Uh, it was a shootout after what the Browns did a week ago. I mean, we ain't we ain't we ain't there yet. But man, I thought I thought that game was gonna go a little different. But we all did pick Herbert, and yeah. Herbert did get the job done. And my exact quote was, "Herbert gets it done. Yep. Herbert got it done, and that's why he's mine." It doesn't matter. Yeah, he all did. Right. That's yeah, that was a wild game. Very exciting. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely watch that. <clears throat> Browns are beat up, definitely. Their secondary, their defense took a toll yeah. with injuries. So, yeah. an exciting one. They couldn't have those injuries a week ago. But, you know, right. it is what it is. They got the dub when they did, but not last week. You know, Buffalo gets it done. Josh Highland gets over the hump. I almost made him my baller of the week, yep. but I couldn't. Justin Herbert got it. Uh, spoiler. Spoiler. Uh, you know, but, you know. Almost uh, great almost, Sunday, great Sunday night game. Now my home you know, lightning delay had to, you know, yeah. it was up a little bit late finishing watching that one. But yeah, I'm dozing off at halftime. Kansas but no, City's I did. offensive line looks rough. Patty yeah. Mahomes is in trouble. Yeah, They're defense on the is oh my god, dreadful. Is bad. Defense is dreadful. They definitely, they definitely going. We look, we talking wild card maybe, but yep. it is a stat that the Super Bowl loser. Has the actual Super Bowl hangover, and the yep. Super Bowl loser usually misses the playoffs the following season. It's not the winner of it. So, yeah, Chiefs are the last team to go back to back Super Bowls, though. Yeah, 
Uh, well, until but this, until this to, year. I know. was very yeah. I was happy watching that game. Yeah, but said so I to say, Josh uh, Mahomes finally loses to Josh Allen, yep. Lamar Jackson, Justin Herbert. Only quarterback that didn't get over the hump was Baker Mayfield. Maybe. Yep. But they almost did. Maybe the Browns have something to say about that if they meet up down the line when KC has to come to Cleveland for a wild card game, possibly. But who knows? We'll have to see. Um, because I think the Ravens is going to win the division. No. And then we, yeah, tonight Monday night football, Indianapolis yeah. Colts going into Baltimore. Ravens Baltimore's is going a to for the record four to four game, uh, forty four games with a hundred plus rushing yards, yep. and they're most likely going to get it. If they make sure they got it last week, I'm going. I can almost guarantee Harbaugh, the the best Harbaugh coach, the best Harbaugh brother, <laughs> you know, uh, he's definitely going to get that record because, uh, and he's going to get the job done. So, and they're going to get the job, probably possibly blow them out. Indy's got a good defense. That's what I was debating. Baltimore's a seven point favorite. I could see Baltimore beating them by, you know, 10, but Indy might keep it close. I do think Baltimore gets the win and the 100-yard rushing record, so we'll see. Yeah. So, last week we always do our Superman cape bit, so quickly we'll recap last week's Superman capes. I'll start it off. I asked Big Ben to put on his Superman cape and get Pittsburgh the W. Pittsburgh did win. Big Ben did have one. He did have one deep ball. He had a 50-yard touchdown pass to Deontay Johnson. However, Big Ben was only 15 for 25 for 253. He had two touchdowns. I'm not sure if that's quite a Superman Cape performance, but he did, you know, he got the win. No interceptions, took care of the he, ball. So Maybe that's what his Cape could do. I, yeah, that's the, yeah. Defense I, is getting back healthy, so yep. T.J. Watt back, Bush is back. So we'll yep. see. We'll see how they. Uh, Who'd you put your Cape on for last week? Uh, we'll see how they do. I have my cape on for the Panthers, and the Panthers blew it, man. Uh, <laughs> nine penalties, 69 yards, 267 total yards. Now, Darnold threw three picks. Now, this this Panthers team that showed up last week, I, I need for them to show up again this week. So, whatever the, uh, you know, the kryptonite cape is, yeah, we need them to – because uh, they they play the Vikings this week, so yeah, so they can have this type of performance again. Uh, Darnold, Darnold's my guy. This is unacceptable. Three interceptions, eighteen point three QBR, yep. one for two in the red zone. Nah, they was like, but we always knew there was a fraudulent three, you know. So they're gonna lose. They're probably gonna they're gonna lose again. They're gonna have to lose again because the other team needs that win. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Will Kate for the Bengals. Bengals almost got it done. He should have caped for McPherson. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, that's what he should have Should have put for. your cape on for the Bengals kicker. Because everybody else showed up. Joe Burrow, Chase, uh, Jamar Chase, you know, nice little duo. Jamar Chase, five for five. Five games, five touchdowns. Keep yeah. it rolling, young man. Yeah, you know what? You could uh, just miss one touchdown. But, uh, you know, I ain't going to hate on you. You Keep doing your thing. I'm going to keep arguing with your fans, though. But whatever. For sure. All right. Our bow. Let's shout it out. Bow, bow, Austin bow, Eckler bow. was not a baller of the week for any of us on the show. He He's getting sure a lot of love not. from the fans in the peanut gallery. Yes, I know you like Austin Eckler, JoJo, so shout out Eckler. The dude is a beast. He gets it done. Um, he had that like 27-yard catch, touchdown with a few minutes left in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Real quick, bullied his way through a couple of dudes. That Browns defense was worn down. He has a heck but of a quarterback. He does, and Herbert's very good at finding that guy. So, well, yeah. there's your shout out, Jer. Who was your baller of the week? Yeah, so almost close to Eckler. My baller of the week is Justin himself. Damn. The guy who robbed my guy Justin Jefferson of <laughs> rookie of the year last year is my baller of the week for la- for the week five. 26 for 43, 398 yards, five total touchdowns. One of them was a rushing touchdown. Man, Justin Herbert, not a, a maybe an MVP front runner. Who knows? Tom Brady definitely got something to say about that. But, hey, man, I think the Chargers is for real. And if that defense can't stay healthy. Now, they did give up 42 points yep. to the Browns. That that's That was kind of weird to me. But. Because I, I thought I didn't think that game was going to be such of a high scoring game. I thought it was going to be kind of like in the hot, high 20s, kind of. But uh, yeah. 47, 42, that's a whole other ball game. Yeah, Especially no. after the performance that the Browns had a week ago. Yep. They only scored 14 points, three, uh, two field goals, only one touchdown, and a two point conversion to get 14. So but that fourth quarter was the very, it was an outlier fourth quarter. I mean, there was four, 20, 
35 points scored in the fourth quarter, something like that. It was yeah, nuts. So. Back and forth, back and forth. But Herbert just putting it on a dime, yeah. and you are my baller of the week, sir. That big fourth and seven to Keenan Allen. <laughs> Herbert definitely had his cape on. He was balling out for sure. Yeah, the type of trust that you have in your quarterback to go for it on fourth and long in your own territory. Yep. Yeah, man. That, that kid's special, man. That Brandon Staley, special. he's got a good head coach. That seems to be a good hire. Yeah, I think he's out of the uh, McVay tree. He is. All right. And my baller of the week was the man himself, the legend. G-O-A-T. Tom Brady. Spell yeah. it G-O-A-T is right. Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. Let me check my notes real quick. 30 for 41, 411 yards, five touchdowns, zero interceptions. And the surprise note is this is Tom Brady's first career game with 400-plus passing yards and five touchdowns. 44 years old, and he's still setting new personal records for himself. Just unreal. Miami's defense isn't that good. Xavier Howard is an excellent defensive back. They, I mean, it's he's the NFL. Getting, the dudes are talented. Bad year, though. It's the NFL. Those boys can play. Tom Brady just makes them look like high yeah. schoolers out there. The dude yeah. is good, and he's getting it done. And I love the graphic that Jer put together because he's playing out of this world. Man, it's crazy because last week he uh, 80,000 yards, all-time record. Yep. And he's just – obviously, he's just going to keep going up until whenever he's done. Probably, probably going to be hard to beat. But in this passing era – who knows? Yeah, but nah, because yeah, he's still playing in this passing era, right. and he's doing stuff like this at 44. Yep. So, yeah, nah, but after breaking the record last weekend for this week to be his first time with, what was it, 405? 400 plus and five. Yeah, zero interceptions. Nuts. Yeah, that, and that's the huge, you know, that's probably the biggest one, zero interceptions. You turn the ball over, you lose. Just ask Sam Darnold. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he turns it over <laughs> no, next man. week. But I'm not going to kill Sam. But, Sam, I need you to not show up next right. week. Sorry, brother. <laughs> All right. Will, Will, uh, Will is not here today, but his ball of the week was Trayvon Diggs. Now, I actually kind of thought about making him mine, too, but not for this week, for last week, because he had two picks last week. But he did ball out. Uh, three three tackles, five total tackles, three solo, two pass defenders, one interceptions. He has six pick. He's the le- league leader in interceptions so far. Six picks in five games. He is totally crushing it. I'm definitely a big big fan of his brother. You know, Minneapolis Miracle, uh, Stefan Diggs. But that boy Trayvon is balling. I think they got another Diggs brother in the league too. Or he's in college right now, balling something like that. They got another one coming. Yeah, I think it's another one coming. Yeah, we got shout out Richard Nolan. He's giving a nod to Devontae Adams for the ball of the week. He was my second choice. He helped me get my first win in fantasy football too. So big shout out Devontae. Finally put it on his back. Yeah, two hundred six yards touchdown. <laughs> Dude makes it look easy. And I was on a three-game streak in my fantasy league. Now, what I should have did – see, I'm, I'm kind of always torn because I have Josh Allen and Justin Herbert. Yep. So, I didn't expect Herbert to ball the way he balled because it was the Browns, right? And he ended up – if I would have started Herbert over Allen. Now, Allen played good too, but he kind of slowed up towards the second half. So, he ain't get the finish as strong as Herbert did. And the little extra points that Herbert got, I would have got the dub. That ended my little three-game win streak that I had in my league. And gotcha. uh, that's debatable uh, sports. Uh, and there is tonight league. to play, but tonight's game shouldn't affect yeah, it. I have no players that. tonight. Nah, I ain't. I ain't. I do already won. We got Michael Pittman going, but I've got a big lead. So, yeah. real quick, though, Will Ward did send in this little quick highlight of Trayvon Diggs from the weekend. So, let's throw you to a quick Trayvon video. Show you an action of him over the weekend. And good protection downfield for Ward. And good catch. Diggs has got another. He's got hands. He's Number fast. Six on the year. And tackle at the ball. Hurts the throw. It's picked oh, off. Man, it's Trayvon Diggs. Down the sideline. Nobody's going to yeah, catch him. Real quick, bro. 20 yard line starts to start here. The play fakes it up the screen, and it's going to be picked over the 21 yard line. Trayvon Diggs. Cool, man. He's going to pick good. The- Dallas has hit on several yeah. of their last um, draft picks. Yeah, so. Thanks for the clip, Will. Trayvon yeah, Will. Diggs, man, that kid's yeah. got skills just like his brother. 
Yeah, I see. I see you in the chat now. Yeah, we just we just did your ball of the week. About to do your top ten, your debatable top ten, and I definitely got some stuff to say about that, brother. So you could go ahead and just cool. Let's do it. Yeah, you could do his teams, and then you know. All right. One second now. All right. So after the quick recap of Ballers of the Week, Superman Cape score rundowns, you know, Justin Herbert looking good, Tampa, Tampa Brady doing his thing. That'll take us to Will Ward's hot top ten. Just touched down in Minnesota. Very debatable, if you ask us. Yeah. So Willie from the airport, here's his top ten. Coming in at number ten, Will has got the Kansas City Chiefs. Already don't like that. Already don't like that as well. Yeah. The two and three, dude. What are you doing? Number two and nine. Three struggling. <laughs> number nine dropped two spots the Baltimore Ravens. Already don't like that. They're still too low. You know they should be higher. Yeah. But I'll get into that. Whatever. Number eight. Got the <laughs> LA Rams. Yes, sir. Uh, that's that's they're they're solid at eight. I kept them at eight on my. All right, let me get my scores back out. I moved, I moved you know, after Ravens that. Up. They didn't look that good against Seattle, but they got the dub. That's what matters. That's a rivalry game. So rivalry in, Seattle, in Seattle, quick turn, quick turnaround. So the only thing you just want to get out of Seattle with a dub, dude. And if Russ didn't go out, I mean, they probably yeah, Seattle win. wins that game. I think. You think? Uh, I do. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Just they because had a lot of opportunities. Gino just, you know, the air interception at the end. But you know, who knows? That's the NFL. They couldn't stop. Donald's finally showed up to me. All right, brings us to number seven right here in the home state. Yeah, I got them lower on mine. Let's see. The Browns got a tough one coming up, I think. They got the cards. Cards are coming into the dog pound. Yeah, yeah. We'll see who we caping for this week. And that's, again, a big note from that Chargers game was Cleveland secondary just beat up. I think by the end of the game, they only had three defensive backs on the roster that were still left to play in the game. Count on. KC's prolific offense only put up, what, 13 points last night? 20. 20? Oh, yeah. That's because I went to sleep. (laughs) They scored a little cheap touchdown. Man, the line still look bad, and the defense is the worst in the NFL, hands down. Dude. Defense needs to step up. The problem is, Will, they can't. Nope. That's the thing. They just can't. From the, they can't step up at all, bro. From the Browns busted defense to another not very good defense. Brings us to the Wills number six, the hey, Green Bay deep. Packers. Yeah, uh, I got the – no, I moved the Packers down on mine. Yeah. Packers is pretty good right there at six. Yeah, but I got to only move down one tough, spot because I had to move up the Ravens. Because I, I, I moved the Ravens up. In mine, I moved the Ravens to six. I moved the Packers to seven. I moved the Chiefs out of mine, Will. I got the Titans at ten. All right, bringing us to probably some of your strongest teams at number five. He's got yep. the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys I agree are with that one. rolling. I agree with that. I got the Cowboys. The Cowboys five. are 4-1. and one. Their only loss is week one by one point to the Tampa Bay Bucks in Tampa Bay. Uh, they handled business. In the they, last four weeks, they yeah. put up 35 points a game, over 200 rushing yards a game. Dak's yeah. on fire. It's the, just win over, it's the win that they got over the Chargers that doesn't make them look strong. For real, because the Chargers look so good, makes that win look even better. Even though that could have went to the Chargers too, and the Chargers could be an undefeated team, but the Cowboys got that dub, and then they just been the. Uh, and they did what they don't play to with do. your food, man. If you weak team or not, just like the Bills, yeah, forty zero. Like yep. we're not the Patriots. We're not going to struggle with the Texans. Nah, we're putting you away and we putting in our bench. Exactly. They just you know. The Giants come into the house, division rivalry, yeah. take care of it, wipe them out the door 44 to 20. <laughs> Literally Hang wiped them out the door, carted them off the field. Oh, my goodness. Daniel Jones, Saquon Barkley, Galladay, you name it. This yeah, Cowboys like shut decimate. the door on the Giants season. Yeah, yeah the G men look soft. All right, we've been, we can't stop talking about them and the man. Chargers yeah. number four. Definitely deserving. Moved up to They're spots. hot. They're rolling. They yeah, got yeah. everything going their way. Yeah, I don't got them four of mine. I got them at three. Number three. Ooh. You think they're better than Will's number three team, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? See, that's the thing. I don't got his number. My number four team is his number one team. So, I moved the Cardinals down. Bucks is two on my list. 
Bucks are definitely well, we, good. We, 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 let, them, let us finish this, and then I'll tell how I got my order. From the Bucks at three and Tom Brady doing their thing, just Man. cruising in the NFC South. Oh, my. Yeah, they're, they, they're going to cruise their way to the one yep. seat. And they got the run game going, so Tom can sit back. But he still gets it done anyway. So yeah, He's trying to get that MVP at 44. To another exciting team over in the AFC where Tom Brady just left. Brings AFC. us to the Bills. I don't see how you don't have them at one, even with that loss. That's debatable. But they're definitely good. The Bills look good. Josh Allen almost got me my win in fantasy, but I should have went with Justin. And that's the thing. And Josh Allen hasn't – he could be playing better. The Bills are getting it done with it that run game. They haven't and needed him Their to play defense better. is just – their defense out. is mean. Yeah, their defense is lights out. Uh, and if you got to go into solid. Buffalo in the winter in the playoffs, yeah. now, that makes tough. They're a very, very good football yeah, team. Like Mahomes got the arm for it. But you ain't got the run game, ain't got the defense. It's yeah. gonna take it's gonna take yeah. a lot to get through Buffalo. So, that's for sure. With the, with the charge, uh, the Chargers don't do good in the cold. And I mean, Justin Herbert ain't Philip Rivers or Drew Brees. But we'll find from out. The past when they come to the East Coast, yeah. Well, maybe they could get the one seed. Like we don't, like the the AFC is wide open because with the Chiefs not being having that stronghold like we thought. The AFC is wide open. Now the Bucks got the NFC on lock, and two through seven is going to be a dogfight between everybody. I would agree with that. So who we got at number one? Well, at number one, the team that Will thinks can beat the Buffalo Bills would be the Arizona Cardinals. He said that's for Will Ward. Yeah, man, B, he ain't here. He, he in the chat, so he, he probably going to see that. <laughs> he in Minnesota right now. Well, yeah, number so one, got, got Arizona at number one. Yeah, I, you know, I, uh, that's where I, my biggest debatable, man. I'll debate that all day. No, I got them at four. On my list, I will put them at four. Move the Bills to one because the Bills with the defense, has, he's very high on the Bills defense, so I would have thought he would have had the Bill Packers. <laughs> Arizona is the only undefeated team last in the NFL. So, and, I mean, and, um, uh, by default, they're the best I team mean, in the some, league. Some, some, won, some losses just, uh, got asterisks and some wins got asterisks. So, like the Cardinals got a asterisk on their record to me, and it, and like like we seen with the uh, Packers and the uh, Bengals kickers. That game should have been a tie. Ki- kicker, now, now now that it ain't the Vikings kicker, kickers is a problem. You feel me? Nah, yeah, bro. It's the same thing. I got a Vikings fan, a buddy of mine, that said that uh, Joseph cursed the Vikings after making that field goal and getting that win. He said that one field goal it's going to curse him for the next thirty years. Return him to Vikings no. standard missing field goals. Uh, or is it going to change the uh, future? We got, I mean, we got game when the field goals. It's just that we just have more heart-breaking right. field goal. Just, so it's nice to see that go Minnesota's yeah. way for a change. Yeah, but, yeah, so like we said, the kickers are support. So I really – that's why I don't have them at number one. They Like, they, I got them at my four spot. Uh, Bills got that loss to the Steelers, but, like, asterisk loss. Like, if they ran that back, come on, I think they just dog-walked the Steelers. So They're Green Bay in New Orleans. Uh, that's debatable. <laughs> and the Bucks, I mean, they lost to the Rams. They lost to the Rams, but the Rams been falling How many since. People we got watching. We got a right. Now. It was just at nine. But oh uh, that is Will so Ward's Will top Ward's ten. Top ten power rankings. Yeah. Right. Hopefully, we handled that for you, Will. That's why they're number one. I got something for you real quick. They're not number one. So just before the season started, Jer, you filled out. You did a playoff bracket for the NFL. Yeah, I'm going to have to redo that. I still got that loaded up. No, I don't want to see that. You don't want to see that? I don't want to see that right now. I think we should see that. Nah, I don't want to see that because, like I said, I'm sorry, Lamar Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. (laughs) It's going to be fun to go back and look at your playoff bracket and break it down. Man, we'll have to break out our schedule predictions. No, see, that's because of the end. No, I'm going to redo it, man. I'm going to redo it. Everybody gets one chance to redo it. <laughs> now, what the per, that, well, uh, what that the professionals do is they just make theirs, live with it. Now, I don't want to live with mine because mine was full of crap. So, I'm going to redo mine. And then they usually remake theirs for how the actual playoffs look and predict their Super Bowl winner once that happens. But... You can pull it up. Let me see what I let me see what mistakes I made, where my biases were, where my what did I, was I objective, was I on point somewhere? Let's see. Let's see what you got, man. What we got. Okay. We're gonna take a quick break. 
We'll send you back to commercials for a minute. Uh, so then we pull it up after the break. We'll get our Superman capes together. Yeah. We'll run through and preview NFL Week 6. So did you have the picture, though? I do, but you don't want to see it. Nah, pull it up. You want to see it? Let me see it. Let me see it before All break. Right. Let me see it before break. Let me <laughs> see, what I, let me see what mistakes I made, because I ain't looked at it since. I don't even think it's on the Instagram. <laughs> just go. All right. What we got, man? All right, Jeremiah's predicted NFL playoff bracket coming at you. <sighs> AFC Chiefs 1, Bills 2, Browns 3, Titans 4, Steelers 5, Patriots 6, and Colts 7. Yeah, see, all of that's going to change. Now, I disrespected the Chargers. Well, I didn't, I didn't know what to Chargers, expect of the Chargers. So, so definitely the, the Patriots is out of there. The Steelers is out of there. Colts, Colts is out of there. there. Ravens is in there. Chargers is in there. And really that seven spot is a toss-up. But the three teams that I said are out of there are definitely yeah. out of there. Browns is still – Browns will be fighting for the Ravens with the Ravens. I mean – and, of course, the Chiefs aren't the one seed. You could just – it's wide open, but as of now, it's the Bills, which I had them at two. So I did think highly of the Bills. Uh, of course, the Bucks is the Bucks. I already, I, I definitely thought about that. Uh, now, I guess the Rams might not be the NFC West winner. It might be the Cardinals. And actually, I didn't have the Cardinals making the playoffs. I had the and I had the football team. Yeah, the football teams are making the playoffs. <sighs> the Packers probably will win the NFC North. Um. Niners will be fighting for a seventh spot. Cowboys got the Cowboys really might be the third seed. Minnesota, as of now, isn't even a playoff team. As of now. Nope. But obviously, I feel like we're really a four and one team. Now I've seen four now. I haven't seen four and one results, but I've seen the four and one play, if that makes sense. So like the like I said, the Browns just put up forty two points. I think we held them. We only held them to fourteen. Uh, comes down now. Now like I said, other now the why the kicking thing is a pandemic, like like it's like it's COVID or something. Uh, this past weekend, I've been dealing with this for a while now. So week two go differently if the kicker does his job. It comes down to a fumble week one. That's just the Vikings. But as of now, it looked like. The, uh, I can say that the Green Bay Packers probably probably will win the NFC North. We might yeah. have to do. A, it sucks saying we'll that. Have to do a halfway. Yeah, Maybe yeah. around week eight or nine, we can revisit this and take our shots and predictions again. Yeah, uh, and the, and, the, and, the, and the football team definitely not winning the East. They're not. The that's Cowboys the be- is about to that's run away. That's the beauty that. of it. That's why you record this. Write it down at the beginning and then see what happens because. Things do not go as planned. It hurt you to say the Packers gonna win the North. You de- you know, you damn right it did hurt me to say that. But you can quit all the internet trolling to facts see that facts. when I'm really on this microphone. When I'm really matter of fact, because I'm gonna need to put this clip up. When I'm really on this microphone, I take what I do serious, and I will respect and show my respect to who I gotta show it to. And regardless if it's a team like the Packers, who people who know me know I don't like the Packers. Right. But that's just because I'm a Vikings fan. This is here because we got the dub over the weekend, but it's not. It's like, but I I'm, I could be objective. My whole goal is to be objective sure. and try to remove as much bias as I can. You know, I'm basketball now. This this you thing gotta, that, you got to keep some of your bias yeah, and keep your home. Yeah, but that's what makes it great. You know? And then right. try to get other people, whether if they're friends, people who yep. I don't know, because I stop if I see just a, I seen a Bills fan, a big big white guy walking out of walking into the store. I'm walking out, walking in a Target. I'm walking out of Target. He got on a Bills shirt. You a Bills fan? Yeah, I'm a Bills fan. Hey, big game for you guys this weekend. This is a little small talk. Right. Like, like, man, I, I, I do that. That's like, the beauty well, of fanhood. That's what, you yeah, know, man. people, but hats, jerseys, I take that. it serious, man. So, yeah, whether if it's the Rams, who I might troll on the internet, or the Packers, who I might talk trash about, or even if it's a LeBron thing, I, I don't hate Brown, but like I said, this didn't exist during basketball season a yep. year ago. So now we just going to see how the basketball gets incorporated. You know, it's the preseason. Start off so whatever. So we just gonna see. Well, we'll that's you know like me. I like to sports bet. You know, I bet against same Fran last week. Arizona covered. Yeah, hey, I mean, man. I'll be objectionable. Yeah, also that's, that's the whole money goal. In my even wallet, even so. got even got Will Ward being objective with his Bengals, even though thirteen and four, they no more. Yeah, he ain't here to defend it, so <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> but yeah, man, we gonna get into a quick commercial break, and we gonna come back with our capes. We be right back. 
Golf season in Central Ohio. The Recreation and Parks Department of Columbus operates and maintains six affordable courses to test golfers of all abilities. Wilson Road, the Airport Course, Mintel Memorial, Turnberry, Raymond Memorial, and Champions Golf Course. Each municipal course is open to the public, affordable, and offers a unique golfing experience. Want to test your swing at each course? Try the City Sampler or the City Sampler Plus package. These package deals are an even cheaper way to play all six city courses. Restrictions apply to tee time availability. Visit crpdgolf.com for more information. Listen up, Columbus. There's a new classic rock station in town. 97.5 The Bear is coming to you from Upper Arlington. Your source for classic rock all the time. All the time. We hear those other stations in town do a lot of talking and not enough rock. You're here for rock radio, not talk radio. Tune in to 97.5 The Bear. 97 won the fan the sun is shining the birds are chirping and after a year of lockdown we can't wait to get back outside and onto the golf course sunshine and needing permission to golf means that mother's day is just around the corner we believe it's incredibly important to show our gratitude and appreciation to the ones we love so tell us about the woman in your life who held your family together during the pandemic go to diamondseller.com click the get out and shine contest link and tell us why she matters most for your chance to win the winner selected will get to design their own handcrafted Diamond Cellar Mother's Day pendant. A once-in-a-lifetime global pandemic means a once-in-a-lifetime giveaway for a once-in-a-lifetime woman. You're real MVP. While you're on our website, browse our beautiful selection of designer earrings, necklaces, and jewelry in our easy-to-use online gallery. And if you are ready to get outside, book an in-store appointment at one of our exclusive Diamond Cellar locations and let us cater to every detail. When it's finally time to get back out in public, make sure she outshines the rest. Howdy folks, Big Mike here at Mike Howard Ford Lincoln Mercury. We've been your neighbors for quite a long time, so you know me, and you know why they call me Big Mike. For over 50 years, I've owned and operated the biggest American-made car dealership in Ohio. Our 16,000 square foot showroom is the largest indoor showroom in the Midwest. We have the largest selection of Ford F-150s, that's America's best selling truck, and most importantly, we have the biggest sale of the year. The Mike Howard Ford Lincoln Mercury Annual Memorial Day Sale is the best time of year to buy a new car, truck, or wagon. We offer 0% interest and zero cash down at signing with low monthly payments when financed through our finance department. And for our veterans, we are offering a $2,000 rebate on the purchase of a new vehicle. This Memorial Day, you can can't find lower prices than Mike Howard Ford Lincoln Mercury. So come on down to any of our locations in Athens, Cleveland, or Columbus. I'm Big Mike Howard. I'll see you Memorial Day. I need to get my camera back on. All right. We back live. Sorry about that l- rough little transition there, gang. All right. But That's we debatable. Wanna, we don't want to cape yet. Hey, man. Where'd my name go? Y'all take it off. Hmm? Nothing. I just noticed it. We hot. We live. We back. NFL Week 6 preview. So... Bye weeks, Falcons, Jets, Saints, and the Niners. Opening kickoff for week six is Tampa Bay, Philly, Thursday night football. Who you got? I kind of know who I got. Tampa Bay. By a lot or by a little. I was just, that's what I was just saying about, like 10, 12, something like Philly's that. Philly's been a tough out these past couple weeks. But the Chiefs, uh, defense is trash. Now, the, 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 Bucks secondary hasn't been looking good, so people has been eating on the Bucks defense though. But the offense has just been so electric outside of the Patriots game. But I definitely got Tampa Bay in Philly. Philly probably, you know, a couple touchdowns. But I, I got them about third or five. Ten. Tampa Tampa Bay's been cruising. Thirty five ten. Bucks. Twenty seven seventeen Tampa Bay. I'm caping for Urban. He needs something positive to happen. I'm weak. It depends on who they got, though, B. I can't cape for Urban. 
Who they got? Oh, they got Miami. You can't, you can't oh, okay. cape Ooh, for I could have cape for Urban, but nah, bro. Forget Herb. All but right. speaking of Urban, that's the London game. Miami at Jacksonville in London. Trevor Lawrence, Urban Meyer. Now the the Dolphins just got rolled and they've been getting rolled. I don't know. Two is hurt again. Jacoby Brissett is just to back up, but he's I don't know, man. The Jaguars defense is like low key good, but there's just so much crap going on with that team right now. From the head coach, his little his little fixing that he got in a couple weeks like last week, you know his little. All his little crap. I'm sure he's tired of answering questions about it. So hopefully he can finally, finally, finally get a win column. His first win since probably whatever, whatever the last game the Buckeyes won under his hut, <laughs> under him. But All yeah, right. so maybe they get back in the win column. That's not a bad cape, man. That's not a bad but, cape, man. Jacksonville definitely might. Get, that, Jacksonville get the dub. So that'll be Sunday morning. I think it's 9:30 Eastern. Miami at Jacksonville. So yeah, it'll be interesting. Urban in London. We'll see if he can get. We'll see if he can stay out of trouble in some London pubs post game. Yeah, but to get us just, back, just make sure there ain't no cameras around, and don't look <laughs> Good creepy because uh, that whole video <laughs> is creepy. And that'll bring Stop us it. back stateside. To we'll just roll through these quick. We a little short on time. Kansas City at at football team. Uh, Washington with the upset. I like it. Football team with the upset. Probably won't happen though. But I'll take the Chiefs to rebound. Next up, how about the L.A. Rams at the New York Giants? Rams roll them. Rams roll. Everybody's hurt on the Giants side. Rams roll them. Yep. Houston at Indy. Indy finally gets back in the win column after a few weeks. Since he at Detroit, since he goes to four and two. Yikes. That's a tough game. I hope. I hope since he wins, but if since he yeah don't sleep on him. But right. uh, I got some since he get it done. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Will is going to say Detroit. Will makes. I think Detroit gets their first win. Ooh, Detroit's played last. They lost by two points. They lost by two points before that. They got beat by ten by the Bears and the Packers. Big, but they were close. They played they a lot had of the close football the, in the games. Packers game, I don't know. I can say them knee biters ain't they? They gonna keep biting. So apparently. So, yeah. sorry, Will. I'm taking Detroit. I got Cincy to get it done. Of course, Green Bay roll Chicago, but I would like to see Chicago get the dub just so Green Bay can slow their roll. Yeah, now that's the fan to me. Um, Here you go. Here's a tough one. The Chargers, Chargers at, at Baltimore. Baltimore. Oh, my goodness. That, uh, Baltimore's only five and a half hours away. Now, I ain't going to sit here stunt like I'm going to go to the game. Let's do it. But, <laughs> bro. Is Baltimore only that far? Yeah, yeah, because uh, the Vikings go to the – because I was seeing what games Wait. I would want to go to for the Vikings, and the Vikings is at Baltimore. Because I was rather – I'm like, well, I would rather see Lamar Jackson. Well, the Detroit game is just so much easier to get to, and I want to see a dub. But uh, me, that – oh, my God. I hope that's game of the week. Now, I don't, you didn't write down which was game of the week. Let me pull, I'll look it up. But Chargers at Baltimore, that's a get game. your popcorn ready. Justin Herbert, Lamar Jackson, Hollywood Brown, uh, Mike Williams. Uh, it goes on, man. Eckler's running game. Well, uh, Lamar's getting, running game. We're getting a little ahead of ourselves because the, Raven, child, please, the Ravens still got to take care of business tonight. I mean, the Colts aren't no slouch. Baltimore should be fine, but you know, barring nah, something, man, I'm sorry, barring Lamar. something crazy happens tonight, that the if the Ravens lose tonight, they'll throw a big twist on the Chargers going into Baltimore. But. Yeah, that, regardless, that of what, said. regardless of tonight, next week it's going to be a great game. It will be. That's true. Chargers. That is a at fact. Baltimore possible playoff preview. Now I don't. I ain't gonna say FC Championship or nothing like that. But who knows? Because yeah, man. Right now the uh, now the Bills got the one seed, I think. But the Chargers is right there with them. So. Next week's big. The Bills kind of got a cakewalk, so I could I could see the Bills getting the one seed in that conference. Yeah, yeah for sure. Who do you take in Chargers or Baltimore? Sorry, I got Chargers. You taking the Chargers? No, I got Chargers, man. I don't know. That's tough to call, bro. Baltimore, At Lamar's home. Yeah. I, I... All right, Chargers is rolling hot. One, two, three. Chargers, man. I got right, just, just take That's charges. my baller of the week, so I'm gonna just roll with my baller of the week. Sorry, Lamar. But Dude, right? if All Lamar right. win, no, I wouldn't be shocked. Let this me put one's, that in there. This one's for you. Minnesota at Carolina. 
Your bo- <laughs> your team against your boy. Yeah. So nah, <laughs> but we definitely uh, the uh, Panthers has been exposed. Vikings is it, Vikings is still in must win territory. Every game is really a must win. We already got three losses on the season, so we gotta we gotta definitely get back to even. And then I think we go. No, we got one more game, and then it's or we go into our bye and we come out of our bye with Dallas. I think that's how it goes. So. We definitely need this dub going to our bye week with a uh, even record, come out strong, and just finish and just see how the rest of the season go. But yeah, no, I definitely got us over Carolina easy. I will. I'll, he I'll got take Minnesota Will Ward well. got B more because they at home. All right, just for informational purposes, M and T Bank Stadium, which is where the Ravens play, is six hours and twenty four minutes from here. So we can make that drive if we want. Yeah, it's not far. All right, I'll take in Minnesota. I'm taking Minnesota as well. Just don't have a lot of faith in Carolina, but I could see Carolina. No doubt, that one Cook, away. but no doubt. I mean, I'm taking Carolina to win that. Actually, boo on the Vikings. Okay, so he's poo pooing. I'm, root, I'm rooting against both of you this week, and uh, you can't root against me because the uh, Niners are on by. Ha ha ha! Here's a good I one. Got, I think that's cool. The next one: Arizona at Cleveland. Can they deliver Arizona their first loss? They have to. Yes. I mean, they already got a loss on their record, but, you know. <laughs> they don't, but they do. But, uh, you yeah, know, nah, I've got the Browns, man, and uh, I'll tell about it a little later. But, yeah, I got the Browns. That's a big game. So, we got a couple big games already, AFC North, AFC North, AFC West, AFC implications later on down the line, head-to-head matchups. Yep. Arizona, Cleveland. Arizona is at Cleveland, so they get to come East Coast. Well, kind of, mid, mid Midwest. I mean, that, they but, ain't traveling that far across country. And, dude, my thing, again, is that but Cleveland's a, defense is in shambles. They're beat up and hurt. If their secondary is in pieces and they're playing backups. Kyler can rip them up. Kyler Murray is going to torch. It's going to be a lot of Miles Garrett. Secondary. That's why, yeah. So it's going to be a lot of Miles Garrett. In that, we might in that see another seven. forty-two to forty-five game in Cleveland. Yeah, because Cardinals' defense is good, but, but if you can contain Chandler Jones, you know, yeah. And Baker's Baker that's a big game. That big well. game for Cleveland. Big game for Cleveland. Arizona, if they could keep rolling, they're gonna just you know they're gonna keep getting Kyler Murray MVP. I don't really think he's an MVP. And is he's Chris in a conversation? But I don't think he's MVP. I agree with that. There. I see we got a comment or CMC's going to play. I'd like to see Christian McCaffrey back. That definitely makes a big difference in that game. You know, two of the premier running backs, Minnesota and Carolina, you got Dalvin Cook out and potentially Christian McCaffrey out. So, yeah. you don't always you don't want to see that, especially with those two. Man, those guys are electrifying. They make for some very entertaining football. Outside of Derrick Henry, top top other two top yeah. backs of the and, league. You know, Kamara. Yeah. And but, Chubb and Cleveland, but – so I'm gonna. I think Arizona's gonna win. I got a nice little parlay going. Arizona and Dallas to win. So I'm gonna take that. I think Cleveland secondary can't hang with Kyler. How about Vegas and Denver? The Gruden's grinders got to get right in the Mile High City. Yeah, that's a slap uh, mess of a game. It's gonna be another rough week of media for Gruden and his because of these emails. So. Yeah. <sighs> Any, whatever, who cares? It's Denver's been looking like Denver again. So and it, but their defense is still strong, man. But. I'm gonna take Denver. I'm gonna go with is Teddy Two Gloves playing? Yep. He's back. Yeah, I got Denver. I got Denver. I'm gonna take Vegas. Denver's let's see, I saw a stat that Denver allowed like eight points their first three games and their last two games are averaging twenty five or something like that. They've taken a little turn the last couple games, maybe just not looking right. But they play some tough teams like Baltimore. Yeah. yeah so we'll see. But so I'll, we'll see. I'll roll with them. And I'll I you know. Really Regardless of all the Gruden coast. nonsense in the news, I mean, his football team's got to get together. Those dudes on the field just got to go into Denver and show up. That's the bottom they, line. So they they looked distracted too. last week, though, yeah, or super. yesterday, I'll say. Yeah, Las Vegas. I mean, yeah. all right, moving on. Dallas at New England. Red Hot Cowboys. Dallas. I hope they keep it rolling. Yep, that keeps looking good. New England. They come up with a way to. You know, soften the blow, but I think Dallas gets the win. That brings us to Sunday Night Football. The Russell Wilson list Seattle Seahawks go to Pittsburgh. Ugly game. Probably won't watch. Pittsburgh wins. Geno Smith gets the start in Pittsburgh. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Um, give me Pitt. Give me something else to watch next Sunday night. Uh <laughs> B 
BMF is out. Um, Buff Buffalo right, Monday at night Tennessee matchup. Monday night football. But of course, we'll cover that next week. Yep. We don't, but of course, I got Buffalo. Yeah, I got Buffalo. Yep. Yeah, Buffalo for sure. Keeps it rolling. Keeps it rolling. Keeps it rolling. I agree. Keeps it rolling. So that's that. The Dallas, big yeah, Will's on it too. Will's See how it Dallas. goes. Will's taking Denver. Oh, and Will got the Bears right. I got Denver too. Man, Willie Ward. I got Denver right. too. We got the Bears. Capes. I don't got the Bears. We got a. We just got a few Squealers. minutes left, gang. Seven fifty-five. We got to shut down campus at eight. So we've got a few minutes to close out. We'll throw our Superman capes on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who we caping for? Who we caping for? Who, who are you caping for? Do you know who you caping for? Not. I will let you find you. it. Yep. Take it away, my man. All right. So this week. I am ca- last week I caped for the Panthers. Panthers didn't get it done. Don't want to cape for the Panthers again because they got my Vikings. Vikings need I'm gonna cape for my Vikings. I'm always caping for my Vikings, as everyone knows. But I'm caping for the Cleveland Brownies this week. Baker, I need you to show up. Miles Garrett, your secondary is oh, there's my Superman cape. There it is. I need Miles Garrett and that defense to show back up. They gave up. Where is it at? Where is it at? Gave up 493 total yards, 381 in the air, 112 on the ground after they uh after stifling the Vikings and the Bears. You know, nine and a half sacks versus the Bears only allowed seven points against my poor little Vikings. Gave up 47 to the Chargers. Uh, they was rolling, man. They got the high flying Cardinals. Kyler, Kyler's in the MVP conversation. Fifteen hundred yards, ten touchdowns, only four picks. Two of them against the Vikings. Um, but the Cardinals is coming to the land, man. Baker and the, um, Baker and the Browns. Miles Garrett and that defense front seven definitely got to get it done because the secondary is looking suspect. And I could see Baker possibly Baker Kyler possibly having a field day. So that's why I'm caping for the Browns because of that. Miles Garrett and that front seven need to get to him like they did. Uh, Justin Fields a couple weeks ago, and Baker just gotta stop doing Baker type things, man. You still got a way, found, found a way to put up forty two points. Baker didn't play that bad. Three touchdowns, no picks, no turnovers. So he just gotta show up. Don't try to duel with the with your replacement quarterback. You know the Oklahoma, yep. Oklahoma thing. So that was wild. Yeah, back to back Heisman winners, back to back first picks. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, who you you got? Who you got? <laughs> Will, if you still listen to who well, you came before, what I was brother. Shout out is yeah. We'll ask Will. All right. I will take this opportunity. This is the only chance I'll ever have to do this. Well, minus the next couple weeks. God dang it. All right. I'm I'm caping for Derrick Henry. He, the dude has been a beast. He's setting career bests every week in and out, but he has got a mountain to climb next Monday night against the Buffalo Bills coming into his house. He is going to have to do that thing all on his own. Ryan Tannehill hasn't been much help. A.J. Brown hasn't been much help. Oh, Julio yo. Jones hasn't been much and help. They stole some of the hype a little bit. Next, next, their defense hasn't been much help. No. So it's tough sledging down there in the AFC South. But King Henry is going to have to have probably a career record day, 200 yards, I mean. And the way they'll have to do that is to, have to, they the Bills, have to maintain possession and have to keep the ball strong. in their hands, keep the ball out of Josh Allen's hands. The Buffalo Bills defense is nasty. But the good thing is Derrick Henry welcomes that kind of challenge. He's about the biggest, baddest dude in the NFL right now, and he ain't afraid of nobody. So I think he'll be looking forward to that. So I'm asking Derrick Henry to put on your cape, big guy, because you got a big task ahead of you next Monday night. All right, it's that whip. My guy Will says he's putting his cape on for Odell Beckham. See now, I didn't. I like I put, it. I put my cape on for Baker and the Browns myself. So I kind of I'm with you there, buddy. You do doubling uh, down. I like that, Odell. Odell Beckham. He says, yeah. uh, "Would a real Odell please stand up?" Two two catches for 20 yards last week. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of wild in a 42 point game of 500 plus yards. Ooh, excuse me. Zoom tight. Uh, 500 plus yards on offense You know they're the only team with 500 yards to lose Or some crap like that yep. Yeah so you know That's kind of why I want to cape for Geno Smith Oh you That's why I, I want to I want to uh, cape for Geno just for fun 
because you don't have that opportunity a lot. I'm throwing out there. That was mine. You're going to have to, though, because that deep, he, I mean, I That's ain't mad I at mean. that pick. So he's my secondary, like, just because the dude hasn't started a game in four years. Yeah. It'll be fun. He'll get his chance the next couple of weeks, but it'll be fun to see Gino going to yeah, Pittsburgh. Yeah, because I'm sure Russ is going to try to get his way back soon. But I can I think remember watching six to eight Gino weeks. play at West Virginia, man. Yeah, he was cold. To date myself. But I like Willie. That ain't I like you old. putting that on the, the cape for Odell Beckham. Decade. I remember that, too. Dude, right. I don't know. <laughs> it makes me feel old. He's younger than I am, and he, they're talking about him like he's this dinosaur in the NFL, you know. Yeah. He's a nine-year veteran. He's like 33 years old. It's like, man. <laughs> but anyway. All right, that's all I got for another Monday night on That's Debatable. Yes, sir. We appreciate you folks for tuning in. See, now we're going to get back. See, when Will's back, we're going to definitely get back into some basketball because yep. I'm sure some more stuff is going to happen. I'm sure Russell Westbrook and the Lakers is going to keep doing some stuff to make sure. him talk. Kind of had some people irritated earlier. Let me see what I got. So, Shout out Ohio Media School, the Score On Air Network. Follow the Score On Air Network page on Facebook. We are here out of the Ohio Media School campus in Columbus, Ohio. As always, I'm Ryan Dietrich. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Ryan's Fingers. We've yeah. got our Instagram up of That's Debatable. You can follow yeah, the yeah, That's yeah. Debatable page on Instagram. As always, the man behind the mic is Jeremiah Bays. Yes, sir. And we working on merch. And shout out to Angelic Designs. She's definitely taking care of my stuff. Sweet. That's my lady. And we working on it, man. You know, Come and get your shirt. And she got her lady shirt. So, ladies, we got you, too. That's debatable with Jeremiah Bays, Will Ward, and Ryan Dietrich. And shout out Will Ward, whatever airport you're in, bro. Get home hey, safe. If you listen to still, come on, bro. You in Minnesota. I ain't, you feel me? Give me a little <laughs> shot, shot. A little I Nick shot glass you. from the I airport you, or bro. something. I got you. Get him a skull Viking horn. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have All a right, good man, night. Appreciate it, man. Have a good night. Go, Lamar.